Today we're in Bali, Indonesia, and I'm gonna be comparing Bali's most affordable pig. Oh my gosh. This thing is huge. The Bali's most expensive pig. Oh, and after an hour and a half right here, our final product. That is a crispy looking pig. Uh, the whole pig itself has become a dipping vessel. Take a look at that. Indonesia is a fascinating, interesting country because here you will find the world's largest Muslim community. If you didn't know, Muslim folks, they don't eat a lot of pork. But if you come here to Bali, pork is king. And they call it babi guling. It means suckling pig. All over this island, anytime you see billowing smoke wafting into the streets, most likely that's coming from roasting pigs. Well, today, I want to see the most affordable types of pork you can get here, but we're also going to get the most expensive pig on the island, the golden pig. But first, our super affordable location. Let's go. And from the alleyway, you can find the restaurant right here, Bobby Guling Chandra. If you go to the back, you can actually see them cooking up food live in person. Right here, a pig ready for delivery. The pig has been wrapped up in plastic and cardboard to help it keep and maintain its shape. Question, if you have a pig in the back seat, can you ride in the carpool lane? I think you should be able to go in the diamond lane. Why not? Let's keep moving. Right here, we have chicken sauté, but we're not here for chicken. We're here for pork. Let's go. Right here, you can see two men beating their meat. And this guy wants some. Here, this is the rotisserie area. We're gonna be seeing a pig cookhouse later today with even more pigs than this, but it is glorious. And this is like truly hard labor. They don't have a mechanical system to rotisserize a pig. Their system is named Gary. He's right there. Huh? What's your name? My dad too. Okay. He said, Gary, this is their fuel source when they're burning. So we have a dry coconut here. These things will burn for hours. You can see they have the coconut perfectly placed around the pig to create the right temperature. You have to be careful when cooking a pig this big. The worst thing you could do is have the skin rip because then the juices are going to start to leak out. That's why he has to constantly rotate it back and forth. Right now, he's giving it a good old rub down with some oil, keeping it nice and shiny. Right now, it's 9.30. So the restaurant is already chock full of pork meat. Let's go inside and see what they got. And here they have a huge display case. You can either order from the menu or just point out what looks delicious to you. Take a look at this. This is called lawar. It is a combination of many different things here. Everything is finely minced though. There is coconut, there's young jackfruit, there's tons of spices, there is some meat in there I'm told too. Oh and chilies to make it spicy. Here we have meat categorized into different piles. This is leaner pieces of pork. Next to that you have fattier pieces of pork. And then this big old thing right here, this is big seasoning paste. This is the offals. You can see we have fried intestine and there is liver too. It is so thin it's like a piece of paper almost. Let me try it out right now. It's like the potato chips of liver. It's so crunchy and so dry. It's like sucking the moisture from my mouth. Right here, this is full of fried pig intestine. And just up here, this is a bag full of chicharron. This is the most prized part of the pig. That is just a bunch of crispy skin. It looks gorgeous. It looks tempting. Oh my gosh. I think the next thing we should do is look at the menu, order something from there, sit down and eat and see what it's like to eat a very affordable pork bobby guling meal here in Bali. So our plate right here, it starts with rice and then we get some of that lawar. Then some of the more lean protein. And then right here, she's going to put a load of those spices on top. Breaking off a fresh piece of skin, very appreciated. This is a spicy sambal. A little bit of chicken, fried intestines, a little bit of liver. And this right here is the fried chicharron. Oh, oh. Where are we going? And that right here is our final product. Let's go eat. Guys, I just want to point out how good of a deal this is. We have for $2.31 some iced tea. We have this assortment of meats and some rice. And then they have a porky pork bone broth soup with meat inside as well. I can't wait to try it out. Oh, where do you even start with something like this? Isn't it amazing that these are both skin? Oh, it's pretty good. It's a very bubbly chicharron. Much more like styrofoam. Here. Oh my god. They only give you one little bite. I wanted just that whole big sheet of pig skin, but I'll stick with this. Let's try it out. but juicy on the inside. It just tastes like salt and some chilies. That's delicious. Let's try out this soup. Really deep, savory stock. When I tried the liver earlier, it's super dry. Maybe if you like put it in your soup or something. This is an intestine, same kind of thing. It's like they fry it to dry it. Mm, a bit better. That has a little bit more moisture in it. Here is the main pork meat you get. Now that I look at it, some actually appear to be a bit more fatty and some are a bit more lean, but they don't really have any flavor. So they have to add the flavor on top with their seasoning paste. A minced assortment of different herbs, seasonings, and spices. Try it out. Oh yeah, that's spicy. It's so spicy, like it'll give you diarrhea, but you won't regret it anyways. The meat itself is kind of chewy. It's half fatty, it's half lean, but man, it is all about that spice. Mmm, that's really good. In addition to that, we have the lawar. There's some sambal in there too. Mmm, it's light, it's fragrant, it's delicious. Great texture. In Bali, they love to mince foods. Whether it's meat, whether it's young jackfruit, even this, the chicken here, is minced into a paste. It's mixed, probably half the ratio is seasonings in there. Wash it down with some icing. <laughs> 
dollars. That is our first location for two dollars and thirty-one cents. From here, we are going to the most expensive location we could find in Bali, and that's going to be cooking up the pig and draping it in gold. But first, we have to go to the cookhouse where they're roasting the pig. Let's move. We have come to the roasting house. We're building up to a golden pig, but you can't have a golden pig until you have a pig. This is the roasting section. This place is specializing in just roasting. In one day, they might roast between 20 to 30 pigs, starting from very early morning to a bit later in the day. You've already seen this, but I want to start the process from the very beginning. This right here is our pig for today. This is a suckling pig. The pig you saw earlier today was massive, gigantic, definitely not suckling. If you're still suckling at that age, then you need therapy. <sighs> But here, this is a true suckling pig. The skin has largely been scraped off already, but he's kind of torching between the toes and getting every last hair fiber off there. From there, it's gonna be gutted. We're not gonna show that, but we are gonna show the seasoning that takes place after. So we have our pig right here and we have our sambal right here. This is full of delicious flavors. It's got onion, turmeric, galangal, chilies, other things. That's all going on the inside. Next, this is what's gonna go on the outside of the pig. I'm told it's called a sweet soy sauce. It's gonna give it a beautiful color. Mix that with a little bit of water. I mean, it's basically like tanning lotion. It's now time for the piglet to hit the fire. And this man is gonna be in charge of this thing rolling. For an hour and a half, it's gonna crisp up and look absolutely delicious. After an hour and a half right here, our final product. That is a crispy looking pig. This is the owner of the restaurant we're about to go to. His name is Ayung, sir. Yes. Thank you very much. This is welcome. incredible. I'm very excited. I wanted to you ask too. you, why use people to do this hard, difficult, oh, okay. hot job? If we use machine, it's going to be hard to control the heat of the fire, and then it's going to burn, and then we couldn't stop it. Mm. Uh, so the job of the guys here is safe? It's safe. As long as they're not burning it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> From here, we're going to take this pig to the restaurant and slap it with some gold. Let's go. Welcome to our next and final restaurant, Bobby Guling Golden. Why do they call it Golden? You're gonna find out soon. Here you'll find the kitchen, and there are very similar menu items as the last place we went to, but they have a little bit of a twist too. Let me show you. Right now they're filling a huge order right here. They have like seven portions. This is where all the food action is happening. This is something that's actually on the menu here. It's called the Signature Golden, or Golden Signature. And you can see they have a big, beautiful piece of pork skin that's completely covered in gold. There's this under skin side there. Beneath that, you can see very similar things to what we had this morning. There's pork, there's some lawar, and to be honest, the price is super reasonable. It's only 70,000 rupiah in the local currency, twice the price of what we had already. This is not really what we came here for. We came here for the entire pig to be wrapped in gold. Our pig has safely arrived at our final destination here. So I was worried maybe the skin would crack, but it's still in one solid piece. That's important because the next step is that we're going to put gold along its entire body. Once everything is finished, I'm going to reveal the final cost of this pig, which is probably in our title and thumbnail already. Quite the mystery. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Of course. Let's cover this in gold. Progress is underway. This is not an easy challenge to pull off because these flakes are so finicky and so fragile. If there's a breeze, it'll just fly away. So far, we have about 40% of this side covered. It's a bit patchy. We want this thing to be just shining bright gold. We want airplanes to see the reflection from the sky so they think there's an SOS. We want this to be brighter than JLo's engagement ring. It's going to be real bright. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the golden pig. Yes. One pig covered completely 100% in gold. Now I know what you're asking. Sonny, if it's 100% covered in gold, can I see the back half? No. <laughs> Take our word for it. It's not like we ran out of gold halfway through. Anyways, this is the most expensive pig you will find in Bali, especially when it comes to a suckling pig. The price for this pig is 6 million rupiah. If it was the pig alone, maybe that's 150, 160, but the gold costs money. Labor in Bali is expensive. <laughs> okay, even he can't keep a straight face on that one. Should we try it out? Of course. Oh my gosh, listen, that is music to my ears. So the custom here is to take the skin off in big sheets like we saw at the first restaurant today. Oh, I f***ed it up a little bit. <laughs> Everything's fine. I need your help, man. Okay. All right, so he carefully is carving out the inside and trying to peel back that skin. This man has done this many times before. He knows the correct procedure and getting the skin off successfully without breaking it. Oh. Take a look at that. Boom, pure golden pig skin. This is the most expensive pig skin you'll find in all of Bali. That is gorgeous. All there is to do now is try it out. Here you go. Oh, this is a nice golden piece right here by the butt. Oh, butt skin. Cheers. Cheers. 
You got both sides working for you. The crispy, the juicy, and then what about the gold? It's making you uh, rich, right? <laughs> <laughs> the gold has no purpose except form to make it look and feel extravagant. And it makes you feel rich and sexy. This is the most prized skin right here because you see all the fat that's connected to it. Even better. Very savory, very delicious. Skin and fat have to work together. And it's still a young pig, so no stretch marks. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, he's gonna expose the best meat, he says. Oh, that's like the neck meat. That's like one of the favorites in Korea. I love this stuff. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Even though it's from the inside, it tastes like it's been brined or something. It's salty, it's delicious, it's juicy. This is what we call sam sam, or pork belly. This one is very delicious because it's stuffed with balina spices. So he's just opened up essentially the cavity here. As you rip it open, you can see the spices on the inside. Oh, look at that. There it is. Pork yes. belly. So the whole pig itself has become a dipping vessel. The juices are inside. Take a look at that. Mmm, an incredible spice blend. Tons of turmeric, you taste the spice, the chilies. The seasoning they put in there have blended with the pig's own juices and just created this mega sauce. The final dish we have right here, it's not even connected to our pig. This is the pork leg. We cook it for more than three hours to make it tender. The skin is a bit leathery, but it, it's soft too, and it rips off so easily. Look at this, this is just a big, beautiful muscle. Inside, you can see that the tissues between have broken down, it's sticky, just gorgeous. Give it a little dip in the sauce here. Cheers. Cheers. That's a dive bar. So tender, it's a completely different experience braising it like that than roasting. I think I might have a foot fetish now. I'm in defeat. Pig feet, okay ladies? Pig feet. Don't send me pictures. This is an, an amazing accomplishment today. I want to say thank you so much for this experience. Today we got to see very affordable Bobby Guling and we got to see the absolutely most expensive pig on this island. Maybe in the world. Maybe in the world! <laughs> Boom. Guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I want to say a huge thank you to Bobby Guling Golden. If you come to Bali, you absolutely have to try the Bobby Guling. Pork here of all kinds, it's done different it's unique, but it's always delicious. Unless it's tiny little dried out pieces of liver, then it's just okay. Otherwise, guys, that is pork here in Bali. I hope you enjoyed it. That is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. <gasps> Peace. And then show me. Uh, no, I ate so much oil. I ate so much skin. Oh, it's not going to be good. Oh.